Chelsea blindfolded Burnley in the Premier League game at Burnley home. Four goals to one. Chelsea for Burnley one. Worst first half performance by Chelsea. And hey, since Liverpool, Chelsea have never performed such a wonderful in the second half. And this was absolutely incredible. All players was massive and great, 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 great time. And a lot of momentum, four goals. When was the last time Chelsea scored four goals in the Premier League? I don't think I can remember. Neither can you remember. And hey, today is just the moment of excitement. And it's rather unfortunate the international break is coming on to spoil the momentum or the mentality of the boys. But hey, we will still keep on going. Remember, coming back from the international break is going to be against Arsenal, a London derby and a difficult one for that matter because for the past two seasons, Chelsea have not really performed that much against Arsenal because of Ateta work. But this performance, two Premier League win in a row, I think is something that we can build on. Chelsea can build on it. And in the first half, believe it or not, Enzo Fernandez for me in the game actually I don't know but he needs to be taken serious but you don't need to identify his position because today he nearly scored a goal but then it's just the mentality I think the position he's playing doesn't fit him very well and today he's playing number six tomorrow he's playing number eight and the other day he's playing number ten which position exactly Pochettino needs to identify for him to actually excel and I've never seen him with that kind of sloppy and since Liverpool game I've not seen him come back to his normal football this season and I think maybe Bochettino is also playing it safe because of injury and he is a multiple or maybe multiple position player Pochettino needs to give him that variety and it's just like he's still doing testing on Enzo Fernandez to identify the place that he could still be in I'm not going to dwell the problem on Pochettino but when all players are back we need to find that solution for Enzo Fernandez Caicedo unbelievable midfielder what a player he is I, I'm not going to dwell on the negative side of the first half we are going to dwell on the positivity in the second half of the game Caicedo for me have been incredibly good and a man for me he has been absolutely great and play an instrumental part in Chelsea winning this game and for the past two games you could see his movement you could see his passes accuracy and everything and this boy if he take this mentality believe it or not Chelsea will be unstoppable Chelsea would be unstoppable. Caicedo, for me, past two games, I think he has done massively well and I think he deserved that praise for sure. He deserved to be moving forward as well and, hey, creating more spaces and chances for Chelsea. And one thing that I observed in the first, Chelsea didn't actually get into the game with that mentality of uh, 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 just pressing up higher, giving problems to Burnley. But they started respecting Burnley and also just relax in a way. That doesn't work well in the first half, but it's rather unfortunate. We need to learn how to score goals on our when our opponent is sitting behind. Because Burnley, after scoring the goal, they sat behind, allowed Chelsea to have the ball, and Chelsea could not create a lot of chances. It was just unfortunate. Raheem Sterling cross deflected, and it was a goal for Chelsea. And hey, Raheem Sterling for me today was unbelievable he shows the character he shows the resilience he shows why he's in Chelsea he shows why he's a senior player in the squad and scoring a goal and assisting and creating penalty once again for Chelsea is not enough for he's on fire and I think he's my man of the match I don't know about you but believe it or not Chelsea has done it all they have done a massive 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 work for sure and hey this is incredible Chelsea Raheem Sterling for me I think he's good every benefit of doubt but when 
all the players are fit we need to find a solutions to them and actually benching modric today starting raheem sterling i actually question pochettino for doing that but after his performance today i think it's it's worth it but then modric came on and hey he wasn't that bad as well i think he's finding his feet finding his uh uh feet in premier league for sure and scoring that goal last time is actually paying off and for sure this is actually unbelievable and amando brujan actually last performance was absolutely beautiful but today the sloppiness the runs actually didn't he did well in general performance as i said every player today have actually tried their possible best but amando brujan i don't think the ideal striker that we are looking for is in him because the last time i actually see him trying his best to create chances scoring a goal for chelsea but today i think he was man man lost in the game and probably one or two moments i see him actually getting on but <laughs> our best solution of striker is just for unkunkum to come back because i cannot see that in amando brujan and for a number of seasons you know he has been from chelsea right from young age and i just believe he will get it right but hey let's see what is going to happen because he needs to actually raise his head in possessing ball he needs to actually you can't be playing as a striker you can't be striking with your face down i can't i can't just understand but today i think i can't blame him that much because the four goals to one is actually i'm blind Bentley was lost chelsea just masterized Bentley in the 90th minute four goals i think it's unbelievable because everyone is like excited every chelsea fan is excited and nicholas jackson <laughs> nicholas jackson is actually a player that i admire very 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 much but then after sitting on bench last game because of uh, accumulated yellow card and amando brujan came on and proved himself but today nicholas jackson tried to actually see that he is not a bench striker for chelsea and he came on his goal was actually fantastic well constructed and is just unbelievable and one thing i like about nicholas jackson is it's not about just trying to score goals but his movement he doesn't want to hold ball too much he releases the ball quickly, position himself and be able to get that clue of moving forward. And that's one thing I love about him. And I think today getting another goal in the Premier League actually give him that momentum, give him that comfortability. As I told you before in the live stream, it's not about just playing football because you want to but you need to install that winning mentality into your team and that is exactly what pochettino is doing and i strongly believe pochettino will be able to get that best out of the team what do you think is gonna happen guys what are your opinions because this today game was beautiful and are you excited let me know in the comment section and these guys absolutely prove me right and hey cuckoo uh, Cucurella, yes, Cucurella in the right back position in the first half, give the ball away, probably has actually regained his confidence and be able to get that right in the second half. Absolutely a massive deal for him. And I think, hey, if he's doing that kind of thing, I think the right back will be his position and he might not be leaving Chelsea again. First half, I actually blame Ever because the approach to the game was very poor and I can't blame him that much for giving or giving that boy the space to shoot the ball in between his legs. But second half was massive, a massive deal for sure. And hey, Caicedo playing in the defensive or midfield position and allowing Enzo Fernandez and also Kono Galga freely moving forward, I think it's absolutely massive. And one thing that I actually see, Cole Palmer in that wing position is not actually good for the team and it's not good for pochettino i think he's trying his best to actually get more position for the boy but 
Remember him playing in the midfield or number 10 position, the extra passes, the creativity that you can get from him. But that wing, you could see today, is not something working for him once again. And I think, I think when players feed or after the international break, Mauricio Pochettino need to play him in that central number 10 position and he give us that extra flexibility in creating few chances. You could remember when Burnley sat behind, we could not create chances. We could not create chances and having Cole Palmer in that position actually give you the flexibility to create spaces and also to score outside the 18 yard box and I think this is absolutely massive and it's something that Chelsea can build on in moving forward. What a great and what a massive performance. What's up guys? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time. And we are going to see you in the next game for sure. And remember tomorrow there are games coming on and we will uh, do watch along in the other games to see how possible this is going to be. And hey, without my, if you haven't subscribed and you are new Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video, and I'm going to see you, and thank you very much for watching.